Commander, you're needed in the Alliance War Room for status update. The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander. Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. There's another rebellion on Zakul. What are your orders? The Rebels will have second thoughts once they're living in the shadow of my Eternal Fleet. Consider them scared straight. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm -hmm. Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it! Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iocath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Every meter of Iocath belongs to me. From the smallest bolt to the largest superweapon. The Republic and the Empire know that. They just don't care. Why would they risk everything over this one superweapon? According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Between the Eternal Throne and this superweapon, I could conquer entire star systems before breakfast. But first, we will need to secure it. We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing the landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet. Converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. Oh, 
Hello, Iocath. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. What good is a fleet of invincible warships if they refuse to follow my orders? We'll get them back online. If there's any work around, we'll find it on Iocath. Lana, we've landed on Iocath. Perfect timing. Meet me at these coordinates, and watch out for droid sentries. Clear the area. We need the fleet spire safe before we make camp here. Understood. May the Force ever serve you. Intercept. Dismember. Impurities detected. Restore balance. Probe. Record. Dispose. Immense purification. Dismantling organics. Commander, welcome back to Iacath. Between the radiation and the killer droids, I'm surprised I've been able to stay away this long. At least the other tourists are polite. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn? Is that you? In the flesh. What kept you away all this time? It's a long story, my lord. Best shared after we've quelled the Republic's petty offensive. Don't get ahead of yourself, Major. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you, in private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Admit it. Your masters are too scared to meet me in person. It's respect, not fear, that motivates Empress Asina. Malcolm's eager for a face-to-face. -face. It's the Sith Company he's trying to avoid. Set up the call. Let's see what your masters have to say for themselves. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Hyogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn my eternal fleet on you both. I can explain, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Iocath belongs to the Eternal Alliance. Why should I share any part of it with you? Consider it payment for driving off the Imperial looters. This is preposterous. The Empire openly supported your Eternal Alliance, while the Republic watched from the sidelines. You once fought for the Empire as wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our Empires can both partake in the spoils of Iocath. Why should I side with either of you? when I can strike out alone and take the superweapon for myself. Iacath is extremely dangerous. As strong as we are, we won't survive a week for fighting both armies for control of the world. Especially with the Eternal Fleet stuck in the mud. We can achieve great things, 
but only if we work together. Say the word, and my forces will join your offensive. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! She got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the Fleet Spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iacath. May the Force serve us all. The Empire needs you, Commander. Major Quinn and I will defend this position. Happy fighting, my lord. We'll catch up once this war is sorted out. The Republic thinks they can defeat us. Impress them with the might of the Empire and the Eternal Alliance. All forces, fire on the Republic position. The Republic persists, but our defenses are holding strong. Republic artillery incoming! Look out! On the run. Let no one escape. <gasps> it's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. I haven't had this much fun since our time on Droman Kars. And once again we stand triumphant against our foes. We have secured our base and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. The closer our relationship, more impressive the results. Our combined power will fill Malcolm with terror. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Auric and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. <sighs> Rosina must be loving this, but her victory belongs to her ally. You compiled a report on the Alliance Commander. What's your recommendation? He's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocaf. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive, but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. Why suffocate them slowly, when it's so much more satisfying to crush their windpipe? To pull that off, we'd need the Eternal Fleet, and they're still on standby. You're thinking too small, Agent Shan. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids, and filled to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? Will Iocath's weaponry be enough to break your father's defenses? Malcolm won't see it coming, which means it's the best shot we have. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Commander, Asina briefed me on your plan to seize the weapon stockpile. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. And let's hope it stays that way. Ah! Ah! Whatever happens here, it was all worth it just to see the look on your face. Very funny. Now, unless you've got another joke up your sleeve, I'm going to get to work. All right, buddy. 
Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. Jackpot. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons, and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Now's not the time for a history lesson. Give me something we can use now. I think this might catch your interest. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. This weapon keeps getting better the more I hear about it. We're not talking about your standard mass-killing machine. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over ten trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. I could unleash it on any Republic world I want. I could take Coruscant. That's what scares me. There. I've downloaded Arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we've received your intel. I'm dispatching teams to secure the rest of the weaponry. Meet me at Asina's base. It's about time we take the fight to the Republic. I'll see you there. And I have something to discuss once you arrive. Lana, out. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Empire. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data, and they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone. We can't be sure who to trust. I couldn't agree more. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadus, a rogue agent inside the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon, a joint Imperial Alliance production. Outfitted with Iocath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. If I'd known we were exchanging gifts, I wouldn't have shown up empty-handed. Bring me Malcolm's head and we'll call it even. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm, have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my 
life to the fight for peace. And when you bow to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm! Harness that rage, Theron. Use it to crush your father's resistance. Let's move out. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic. Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. Don't kill him over me. I couldn't live with myself. And I couldn't live if I lost you. You've chosen this tyrant over me? Over the Republic? Yes, I have. Don't do it, Malcolm! I see a radiant city, bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! The superweapon is glorious, and it belongs to the Republic! I've got a bad feeling about this. The gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! Sir, your connection to the throne is breaking down. Superweapon controls are failing! No, I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. Father! It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now. He could have avoided this. He never was much for listening. And now he's gone. You always put the Republic first. I hated you for that. But now you're gone. And I couldn't save you. You can't save everyone, Theron. Your father died fighting for what he believed in. Sometimes that's all that matters. You're right. Thank you. I know it hurts, but we'll get through this. I promise. Thanks. I mean it. Whatever you need, anything at all, just say the word. I appreciate that. For now, I think it's best if I stay busy. <laughs> Malcolm's power flux knocked out the super weapon's defenses. Killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander. I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. How soon until the weapon fries Iocath? We're talking minutes. You'll never make it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Theron, I love you. I love you too. Now go on. Save us all from a fiery death. We're counting on you. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, 
I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You'll need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. Am I crazy? Or is this the third one I've seen today? Fourth, if you count the Eternal Throne. Then you can start a collection. Time's running out. Hurry! Where am I? Who are you? I am Rage, Molten Fury, your god, and your destroyer. You're just a machine, stranded on a dead planet, and worshipped by a bunch of tin cans. Darkness, lie. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty, distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow, the traitor. I've let too many people into my inner circle. It was only a matter of time before someone stabbed me in the back. Suspicious corrodes. The betrayer lured you to Iotath, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you Sacrifice Prime, fuel for the Six Gods! I'm not an offering, I'm your destroyer. Rage! Ships of the Eternal Fleet, open fire! Lana? Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iocath. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? A scene as an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Asina? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. 
Whoever it is, I want them rooted out quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. Everyone will be considered a suspect. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Someone stabbed me in the back. Was it you? This is preposterous. Answer the question. My life is an open book. Scour every detail and you'll find I would never betray you. I'll be the judge of that. So be it. Just don't let my dirty laundry distract you from the war. You've dealt a crushing blow to the Republic, but they stubbornly refuse to surrender. A fight for Iacath rages on. We can plot our next strategy over a bottle of Zakulan wine. I don't think that would be appropriate, Commander. Not yet. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Excuse me, my lord. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. It's been a long time, Quinn. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused, and found myself in Imperial Prison. I was locked away for years, until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. Yet still, you remained in hiding. I actually tried to approach you once, when you visited Asina on Drummond Cass. But I lost my nerve. I worried you'd never forgive me. For Darth Barris, for returning to the Empire. The past is behind us. If you'll join me again, I'd be glad to have you. Nothing would bring me more honor, my lord. But if you betray my trust once more, no one, not even the Cena's Cathounds, will be able to find you. I won't tempt fate, my lord. Welcome to the Eternal Alliance. I've already drafted my resignation from the Sith Empire. I'll fire it off, then acquaint myself with your new colleagues. If you require my services, you need only ask. I know you two have a lot of history, but he could be our traitor. The question is, do you trust Major Quinn? Quinn and I have endured a great deal together. You'd never betray me, not again. In that case, I'll cross him off the list of suspects. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>